When early Māori first paddled into Kafia Harbour, they were too frightened to land because they thought that the brilliant red Pahutakawa blooms were the fiery red headdresses of chiefs. Sadly, those blooms are a wee bit few and far between these days, but there are a willing group of people who want to bring back the Crimson Coast. What had happened to the Pahutakawa around here? Well, we don't really know, but there's evidence that um, it was used, it was a very particularly hard wood, and there's evidence that it was used for, for a lot of fence posting um, in the area and probably boat building. We know from literature um, and Māori legends that actually Pūtakawa were prolific in this area, and in fact this, this whole ring of the, you know, the whole harbour was, was probably swathed in, in crimson blooms at some, in summertime. There's a history for us here, for Tainui people, uh, the two uh, old trees down there, they were, they're still growing. They've been there since the Tanu, the arrival of Tanu Kinu. And one of them is called Te Papa Wakarawa, and the other one's called uh, Tangani Korupiti. And that's the reason why it's, you know, it's important to all of us here. Plus there was a lot more around in the old days, you know, and, but they've been uh, destroyed over the years. How long have you been growing Pudakawa trees here? This is only a new nursery for, for us, I think we've been going about five years. We sort of didn't really get into it in a heavy way until we got involved with Project Crimson. What do you do for Project Crimson here in Kafia? Well, we supply trees to a lot of the farmers, and so a lot of people have also brought up land and, and planted. There's a lot gone around the hub already. And how many do you think you would have had here at oh, this year? This year we've sent out about nearly 5,000. Why did you decide to start planting Pahutakawa babies? They're not part of your farm, are they? I just decided to, to fence the, the coast off myself, and then it just coincided with Project Crimson, Environment Waikata, and all the others. And so they've helped me out, it's good. And so how many do you have out here? 300 this year, and be 150 last year. And people in the past have been busy clearing land, not protecting it. And so and now that pendulum's swinging a bit and people are starting to look after the frontage. So with the help of our principal sponsor, Meridian Energy, we've been able to fund projects like this by uh, collecting seed, propagating, supporting local nurseries, um, to actually bring the trees back. And then with the help of people like the Shores, we're able to actually get those trees back into the ground in really important areas. Around 20 years ago, researchers discovered that 90% of New Zealand's coastal Pahutakawa forest had disappeared. However, thanks to organisations like Project Crimson, the idea of a ring of fire around the Kafia Harbour may once again be a reality. Hardy.